This is the story of an ordinary young man facing a somewhat tough decision. He goes by the name of John. Well, there may be some disagreement as to whether this decision is really so hard, but John is obviously finding it perplexing since he hasn't moved the muscle for an hour. The cause of his dilemma is a seemingly simple staircase. Our thoughtful friend is figuring out whether he should go up or down the stairs. Indeed, what a fascinating question. But wait, there is more to this situation than meets the eye. Where exactly he is, or how he got here, our friend John does not know. Nor is it of any real importance. What does matter, however, is where he goes. Well, I don't know precisely what he is thinking in this instance, but let me attempt to elaborate on his thoughts. Clearly, both options have their benefits. Going up will cost you more in energy, but rewards you with an overview and a greater perspective. But for some, this may be too fatiginous. It implies sacrifice, which John may not be willing to take. Wouldn't that be a reason for going down? Going down is often confused with failure, but it's nonsense if one actually thinks about it. What if I told you, my dear John, that there is a third option? Realisation of what up and down really are. Let me ask you a question. When you leave Mother Earth, where is up? There is none. Nor is there a down, or upside down, or any of that nonsense. These are simply arbitrarily defined by mankind, describing perspectives bound to the eye of the beholder. <laughs> but sorry. Sometimes I get a bit carried away. Let's get back to John, who seems to... Oh, it looks like our story is about to find its ending. Funny, isn't it?